Happy Sunday, everyone. I am just getting started with our dinner here. And we are having Epicure Sweet and Sour Chicken tonight. Um, I really like this one. I've made this uh, once before. Uh, so I'm looking forward to having it again. I'm gonna turn my camera around. So right here, I have our rice cooking away. And I just started this just a, a minute or two ago. So it takes about 20 minutes for it to cook. Um, and I have our oil heating up. Um, I've done this in the wok before. I didn't really feel like getting my wok out, the, out tonight, so I'm just doing it in a deep pan with uh, my oil. That's just some canola oil heating up. And I have right here two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So that's ready to go. This is our Epicure sweet and sour chicken stir fry seasoning. And I will show you the back of that. You can read all the ingredients, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, garlic, chives, and ginger, ginger, excuse me, uh, all gluten-free, all non-GMO project verified. Um, there's your nutritional information and your directions right here on the packet. So I'm going to go ahead and get my chicken started and then I will mix the sauce while that starts to cook. So I have, because I'm making two packs of this, because I have a big family, um, I've got two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I've cut up, and I'm going to toss that with half a cup of cornstarch and then put it in my oil to start uh, stir-frying. Hi, Trish. Hi, Joseph. Good to see you both. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're well today. So I'm just... I've cut up my chicken in a bowl that has a lid that goes on nice and tightly. And I've got half a cup of cornstarch in there. And I'm just gonna pop my lid on here and give it a good shake. Hi, Siani. Miss you, sweet girl. How's that new baby? All right, so we're just getting that all tossed up. As we know, a lot of times in uh, Chinese food restaurants, if you order a sweet and sour dish, it comes with deep fried chicken. Uh, so this is a much healthier option to one of your favorite Chinese takeouts. I know uh, my kids all really like sweet and sour, um, but this one is much lower in sodium and in sugar, which is a good thing as far as this mom's concerned. So I have my two pounds of chicken coated in cornstarch, and you're gonna hear a sizzle here. All right, so let that get started. And the cornstarch will just help this to brown up a little bit. Um, and it'll also help thicken our sauce once we add that in. Um, but again, we're not deep frying here. We're just, um, you know, I've done this in the wok before, which is what it calls for, but it'll also work fine just in a regular, um, I'm using a deep pan just cause I'm using a double batch of this. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of space. Um, but it'll work just fine. So if you don't have a wok, you can still use this product. So let's get started on our sauce. So, you can see our directions again. We have pineapple chunks, including the juice, soy sauce, white vinegar, and water. So, we need, uh, since I'm doing a double batch, we need 28 ounces of pineapple chunks, uh, four tablespoons each of, so of soy, white vinegar, and water. So I'm gonna get started on that. And I'm just gonna cut these packets open you'll be able to see all the ingredients that, hey, Uncle Mike, come in the packet. And one of the great things about Epicure is you can see out of the pantry, I'm adding some fresh meat and some rice. Um, then I'm adding pineapple juice. And then the rest are just things I have on hand. Oh, I'm also adding uh, sugar snap peas. So I'm not having to buy all of the peppers and chives and uh, ginger and garlic because it's all right here and you can see you can actually see the pieces of bell pepper in there and the reason we mix this 
with the other wet ingredients is because while the chicken's cooking, it will rehydrate. So I'm just going to open up my pineapple here and pop that in. And this is, I have a 20 ounce can and a 28 ounce can because my store doesn't have 14 ounce cans. And I needed, since I'm doing a double batch, I needed 28 ounces anyway. So I'm just going to add my pineapples in here. I think this is my little guy's favorite part about sweet and sour is the fact that there's fruit in it. All right, and then we are adding four tablespoons each. That's Worcestershire sauce. We don't want to put that in our uh, sweet and sour. I grabbed the wrong bottle. <laughs> Let's try that again. Fortunately, I caught that before I started mixing. So um, I use tar tamari, which is a gluten-free soy. Uh, this is a gluten-free dish for those of you that have that need. Um, all of Epicure's products are gluten-free. Um, you know, if you have our mac and cheese or something like that and you need to eat gluten-free, all you have to do is add gluten-free pasta uh, and it will remain gluten-free. So, um, so I'm adding four tablespoons of soy. And this is tamari, and it's, a, it's a, as I said, gluten-free. It's also a little bit lower in sodium than typical soy. And they also do make a reduced sodium version of this. I just happen to have the full sodium one open. Okay, so there's four tablespoons of soy. And then I'm going to add four tablespoons of white vinegar. That's one. two, three, and four. And then we need four tablespoons of water. I'm just gonna come over here and we have one, two, three, and four. Now this is enough for eight people, or eight servings, and they're eight sizable servings. That's another thing I love about Epicure, is our portion sizes are all really generous. So even though I'm feeding uh, six to eight people on a given night, we have enough food to go around, and sometimes we even have leftovers, which in this house is a rarity. So. I love, you know, like last night was just a leftover from earlier in the week. We had several things that we had leftover portions of. So everybody just kind of picked what they wanted to eat and heated it up and I didn't cook. So, um, and if you check my, my uh, Facebook from earlier today, you can see I have prepped out my meals or planned out my meals all for this week already. I did my grocery shopping online and my groceries were delivered. And so I'm ready to go for the week. I have everything I need. I'm just checking my rice. So this is basmati rice, which is not usually what I use, but what I had on hand. So I just want to check it and make sure that it doesn't burn, that I don't run out of water. And actually, ah, I just fogged up my glasses and probably my camera too. Okay, I am just going to take that off the heat now because that is finished. The last little bit of water will just evaporate from the heat of the pan. Okay. So here is our chickens just about done browning and you can see our sauce sitting here getting ready. I'm just going to give it a stir and that has our sweet and sour stir fry seasoning packet from Epicure and has pineapple and soy and vinegar and water. All ingredients we can, can, we can pronounce and feel good about feeding our families. So you can see this is starting to hydrate already and those pup, uh, red bell peppers are starting to soak in some of that moisture and come back to life. And there's some chili flake in there. It smells really, really yummy. I love this one. All right, so 
Let our chicken go for another minute. So once our chicken is finished, we're gonna stir in our snap peas and the seasoning mixture and cook it for two minutes, let it thicken up. The cornstarch that I put on the chicken will help that. And that fast, this is done. Uh, one of the goals of, or one of the, the missions of Epicure is to have good food real fast and also to have raw to ready in 20 minutes. So when we're not in a time of, you know, this weird time that we're in, when we're all running 100 directions with different activities for our kids and meetings and, and all this stuff that we do in our normal lives, um, we can still get a nice, healthy, tasty meal on the table fast. So I started cooking my rice at about 6.15 and it's now 628. My rice is done. And as soon as my chicken finishes cooking through here, I'm just gonna check. We're getting really close on the chicken. I'm gonna give that another minute. I wanna make sure my chicken's cooked well, but not overcooked. And I get my snap peas ready to go in. And this is just a uh, bag of sugar snap peas. They're microwavable, but I'm not cooking them that way. I'm just gonna throw them into my pan and they will cook the little bit of cook time that they need um, while the sauce is thickening up. All right, I'm gonna grab a piece of chicken here and just check and make sure that it is cooked all the way through. I'm trying to make sure I get tried to cut them all in relatively similar sizes, but um, going to try and grab one of the bigger pieces, maybe. Thicker, maybe. Let's see. Oh, that looks like a pretty good sized one. So I'm just gonna cut that open, see if we are cooked all the way through, and we are cooked all the way through. I'm gonna give it another second, let it get a little bit more color on it. All right, so here we go. The last two minutes of this is really, really fast. My dinner is almost done. I've been cooking for 15 minutes. Um, you know, took a couple, couple of minutes to cut up six chicken thighs before I started. That's it, and we are gonna be ready to eat. So I've got my two cups of sugar snap peas Stir those around. And cooking them this way, they will stay nice and vibrantly green, keep all of their nutritious vitamins in there, and just get a little bit tender. And then I'm going to add in my sauce mix. Here we go. Scrape out the measuring cup so that I make sure that I get all of that seasoning, spices, peppers, and everything that's in that packet. And then just give that a stir around and let that go. Oh my gosh, the guys, the smell of this is already amazing. Just for that second that the sauce has been in the pot. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And I do wanna show you one more thing on this. So you can see in our ingredients for a sweet and sour sauce, there is no sugar added to our product. So all of our sugar is coming from the sugar snap peas, which their natural sugars are for the whole container, which is gonna make eight portions for us, is nine grams. And then for the pineapple, per serving, the sugars are 15 grams per serving. So if, I can guarantee, if you were ordering sweet and sour chicken in a Chinese restaurant, there's going to be a whole lot more sugars in that, because we all know how 
sweet, that orangey kind of colored sauce that you get on Chinese sweet and sour chicken at a restaurant is. So this is a much, much healthier option. Again, a lot less sodium as well. So just a all around better choice for your family. So that is our sweet and sour chicken. It just needs to go for another minute. I appreciate you taking the time to join me tonight, checking out Epicure. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. I'd love to talk to you about it and let you know uh, everything we have to offer. Um, you can follow me at Nick Nikki's Epic Kitchen. The link is uh, in the description of this post on Facebook and also on YouTube. Um, and you know how to reach me otherwise. Have a great week coming up, everyone. Uh, and I will see you next time.